Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is my first video for the Explaindio uh, German group. This is the, uh, for this group here. Okay, so just came on and uh, thank you Sanjay for inviting me and everyone for welcoming me on and uh, this is one of my Two gifts actually that I'm going to share with the group just to give you an introduction of uh, some of the things that I do and hopefully down the line I'll be able to share some tips and tricks that can help you to be a better video creator and just right off the top um, even though I like Explainio for some of the things that it does I don't use Explainio as my complete set of tools I also use After Effects and I create my 3D and 3D uh, Studio Max or and a couple of other programs I have out there and I convert them to SWF and the reason I do that is because SWF can work in explain deals 2 and 1 so I don't want to limit the products that I create um, because uh, in the new explain deal 3 which you're looking at right now it has it will import uh, 3d characters but it wants to import um, ZF 3d now the ZF 3d format is, is a uh, creation of flare 3d and flare 3d is actually a free application and the uh, it comes with a plug-in so if you have 3d studio max or access to it you can use the plugin to convert fbx graphics 3d graphics into these zf 3d format that um, explain 3 is using and of course you're looking at the interface for explain 3 but what i'm going to show you today will work on explain 1 and 2 and then i'm going to get if you look in the uh, notes for this posting because this is going to be in the file section where you can download the zip file and use the files I'm about to show you uh, you'll be able to load these as SWF now in explain to you 2 and 1 the way you load an SWF is you click on the image button because an image can be a JPEG a GIF an SWF and a couple other formats that uh, slip my mind right now and now also here in three this has a timeline in two you don't have a timeline but you still have something similar to this that creates scenes so uh, ignore this interface for right now those who upgrade to three will recognize this and if you need help with that I'll create some videos to train on that I haven't created many yet because I was waiting for Andrew to officially release three and for me to finish off some of the products I have that I'm gonna be uh, marketing for three two and those who are still using one I also have a video link so if you're on a Mac and you want to know how to move files around there's another woman who has created a video for that and I'm going to share that with you but I have a video that teaches you how to load SWFs and stack them now I looked at it again I may have to uh, improve upon it or add some notes because um, now that I'm in three and been in three for about uh, almost a year that two video I made isn't as clear as I would have loved for it to be so please excuse me if um, it loses you and if it does send me a note and then I'll explain whatever you need so that you can get you can comprehend and uh, I'll just do better next time but that was when I was first making videos and I was excited so you know so here's what we got here you saw a little bit of it this is Bella, my salsa dancing girl. This was created um, in, I'm not sure if this was created in Max or Maya, but um, yeah, I created this one, converted it to FBX, and then I changed it into a SWF, so that way you can load this and explain to you and Video Maker FX. 
Um, and there's an uh, Hitmaker 4 Express, I think also reads SWS. So I wanted this to be versatile. I didn't want it to be a one shot wonder where you can only load it in one program. You know, so that's why I did that. So what you would normally do is you create a scene and then you go here and use this flash animation button to load her and then she come on the screen and then you can move it around and place it where you like okay now the same thing is true for this karate scene now the reason she looks she has this contrast is because I had a dojo a dojo behind her that was dark and so this was just given the illusion of some highlights or a light shining on her the reason that the text is stacked is because you have the ability to go in there and change the text you have six text areas you don't have to use them all but I included six text areas so you can pick and choose which ones you wanted to use so it starts off with two types of headers okay and then you can go in there and change them so let me see well, I can stop it right here go in he says top line header right so let me pull up a notepad so I can copy some of this text when I remove it now watch what happens when I remove this okay so you have that top line header there and know that you can move text around Oh, there's nothing there okay so can move was not there so you can move text over up and down to place it where you want so let me save this text I just cut and then now this is the second line of text at the top I'm gonna to cut this out okay so you can see how this works and then the, sec the third line of text is this multi-line detail over here so let me get rid and it's green so the green in the background is what I'm getting ready to cut out now all right hopefully I don't get lost where I'm putting this stuff and then here's number four number four is red that's the red text so as you can see you don't have to use all the text fields and when they're empty they don't show on the screen okay so there's that one and then number five here's the bottom text this is the brownish color so let me get rid of this okay so you can see that this is uh, this is an SWF but it works like a template and I stacked it all up like this so you can have some versatility so let's go back and let me add the top line header see there's that one and then let me add one multi-line section back in okay so let me restart this now so see how it pops up and then the header is going to disappear when she jumps to get out of her way see and it leaves this text here the reason it looks like she's sliding is because the the dojo graphic I used in the background was moving so it gives the appearance of her moving across the floor but I wanted her to stay in frame so in order for me to do this without her look like she was sliding I would have had to make her smaller and I didn't want to do that so the dojo graphic in the background was moving like she was moving across the floor like you would normally see when somebody's practicing their martial arts so that's why you have that illusion so again you have all these multiple text fields when you get this slide everything's going to be stacked on top of one another and you can pick and choose what you use so now if I just took this out of here and I chose the second line of text that I had before so go into number two okay let me start again now see now this is the 
the other text. Now this font is built into the slide. If you go in here and you change this from default, then you're going to lose this font. You'd have to reload the SWF again and then you get this font back, but it's not permanent, you know. So if you just leave it at default, don't change the font, you will get this character style. If you change it to anything else, you won't be able to go back to default and get it again. This is just some weirdness about the way Explandio works, so that I can't explain right now. But I do know how if you get rid of it and then bring it back in, it's there. So, and the same thing with um, the text on the side. So if I get rid of this one, I'm just going to cut this out of here and put it in here. And you see that the text is higher. Now I did that because if you decide that you don't want any header text, then you have text that starts at the top of the screen. So that way you have some versatility. Now, let me go back here to Bella. Bella is just a graphic by herself. She, that's, you can load her up, move her around. Uh, she dances, so you could actually start her off screen, use a bit of animation to bring her on screen. And this 24 frames is one second, so I'll make it 48. Give it two seconds to come on. And then there she goes. So these are the two first graphics that I'm going to put out there. I do have a set of 3D characters that um, see I'm working a regular job, so it's not like I do this per for full time. So it takes me a little while to get some of this stuff out, but uh, once it's out, uh, I dedicate my weekends and evenings to support all my products and answer questions and help other explain to your users and I also recommend that you grab a copy of hit film for express it's free and it's a video editor uh, you can't edit video I mean you can't uh, really edit video in here you can create video sections then if you brought them in the hit film Four, or if you already have Sony Vegas or something else that you use as a video editor then you piece them together there because that's the best way to do it um, quite honestly, uh, now the, I haven't tried audio in Explainio, but ever since one, I've never used Explainio for audio because I also do a radio show and I'm used to using, uh, Adobe Audition for my audio editing and, or Pro Tools if I'm doing something for a large client. But Audacity is a very nice audio program if you don't want to get into the video editing, you just want to add some nice audio or if you get into hit film for express like I said again they have multiple tracks where you can add audio so you create your video and then you, you can record your audio up under it and then you have far more control than you ever would in Explandio so uh, take that for what it's worth and I will have some uh, training videos to show you how you come into Explandio create your videos go to hit film for or Sony Vegas which is what I use more often than anything and uh, make things happen you know and it's you come up with a very professional product and it's easier to maintain and you don't have issues with trying to sync the audio with the video plus you can go into hit film for Sony Vegas or Adobe Art, uh, Premiere or whatever you use and you can cut the video and edit it and use sections of it and you know you it just helps you to uh, become more versatile and add in with a nice toolbox of uh, video editing tools and creation tools then you're just like a regular production house because if you go into a production house they don't use one piece of software you have people that create graphics people that animate the graphics people that sequence the graphics and put them on video seg segments then you take those segments into a nonlinear editor and then they create their timeline and they produce the whole thing they add audio under it they add music under it so that's the one thing that's not being taught out here you're made to believe that each tool is an is an all-in-one and quite honestly it's not it does a lot of things that are really nice but it is not an all-in-one so 
anyway I just wanted to share that with everyone out here and I'm gonna if you look in the file section or if you see this post you can just download the zip file and if you have to if you want to import it import it as an image okay and then there will be a folder that says pro slide packs so you go into your images to load it but what I would do is I would just put it in a folder on my hard drive somewhere where I know where it is where I keep all my graphic asset assets and then just click on this add flange animation button and then just go get it see I have a folder where I just keep all of my stuff together so that I know whether where it is it's not in the explainio folder at all that way I can use this for other stuff you know I can use it for any other program that will accept an SWF and to me it's just better file management so I mean this is a personal preference um, but uh, and it also have a folder so you can just open up the zip and just drag the folder to your hard drive wherever you store your assets and I believe that would be a better and more efficient way of doing it uh, but I will create the zip so that if you load it into images then you can go into bitmap images and it generally takes you into the explain the old folder and if you went into images you'll see them because see these are really SWFs now see now it's not even let me see those so maybe that's not a good idea okay so I'm just gonna make the zip with a folder and please use flash animation go and get them out of whatever folder you want to put them in and uh, make a practice of doing that that way it makes it easier to find and easier to manage in my opinion thank you very much everyone I hope um, this was clear enough for you I've never uh, placed files on a site that is not a dominant English site and maybe I need to learn a new language I'm not sure but anyway hope you enjoy these and uh, look forward to the finished products and look forward to more of these uh, freebies what I call the Alaska Borg junkyard um, SWS not that anything's wrong with them it's just my little fun title for animations that I give away uh, prior to product releases or just for fun and if you have any requests out there I do some requests when uh, work schedule allows thank you <laughs>